Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cool YouTuber that has almost had a, almost had a year long no buy. And today it is another part in my Christmas series, my Merry Christmas. And I do not know why I say this in all the videos, but I do. I'm spelling out my Christmas with my palettes and today I am an I in Christmas. So of course I'm using It's Freaking Bats from Betty Bean and Shroud. This is one of my favorite palettes. It looks like this and I just love it so so much. And I'm going to do a look today that um, I think I might can have already done once. But you know what? It, it doesn't matter. As you may know, I have been using this one, that's the base from Gloss Gods, for a couple of months now. I don't like this one. Um, for some reason, my matte shades start to crease, and I was like, I have had a shitty day at work. <laughs> so I am digging into this one, Milanese eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to use this today, and hopefully, it is that. Is this one that is fucking up and not my eyes. So I'm going to pry my eyes and then we'll get started. And I do really hope that this one works because if it's not, I'm going to be sad. And today I am doing Halo. I saw, a, I think it was a reel from Betty Bean. And I just love her style on putting on makeup. And I am going to do this look inspired by her style. So... I'm just going to start. I'm going to take Trappa, Dairy, and Handbook. These are an amazing combination, especially this Dairy and Handbook. I do really love them together. And as I said, I have a shaded day at work. I don't, I don't know if I want to talk about it because it feels like that's everything I talk about. But, you know, like, when people are supposed to be at work, but they got sick. Or the, their kids are sick, so they are home taking care of their kids instead. It was that kind of day. And a lot of shit did just happen. And I am not allowed anymore to wor work overtime. But I did it today because... I needed to get things done and... Uh, yeah, Hopefully it will be better tomorrow. If... Uh, not it's going to be worse. I don't know. I just don't want to think about that. When I came home after work, I did just take a long hot shower. And I was kind of stressed and in a bad mood at work. But now it feels better. I have been talking to my boyfriend and been eating some sandwiches uh, drinking my Pepsi uh, feeling fresh so it just feels better but that that was not like at all what I wanted to talk about today I thought that I was going to like look back a little bit on my YouTube year and trying to remember what I have done <laughs> And what I have liked and what I want to change. The thing that I've changed the most, I think, like for me, is now I bought a ring light this year. A ring light is uh, kind of expensive. And I bought wrong one from Elgato, I think. I do like it and it's really easy for me to just put it up and start filming. It doesn't give that much light to the background, I know, but it is what it is. On this channel, it just is what it is. And I think it was a really good buy because it has made my setup so much easier. So now I really like filming more often. And I think we can like divide this year into two for me. In the beginning it was a bit so and so on my channel. I didn't post that much. And it is a good reason for that. I did work a lot 
that's why I'm not allowed to work overtime anymore. Um, I did work a lot in the beginning of the year and like the first couple of weeks I had everything under control. I was putting up videos, I was filming and then shit hit the fan. And I didn't film anymore and I was just too tired from work to film and on weekdays, weekends I didn't want to film because I wanted to spend time with my boyfriend or just lay in the couch. So in the beginning it wasn't that good and I think it was maybe in July. I don't think, uh, I think I had one video up that month and that was my no buy update. But nothing more and I... I think I needed that one, it felt really good. And I don't know, was it in... It just has been the couple last couple of months, maybe since October or in the middle of September, where I really have put up a lot of videos. And I have been really doing themes this year and I do love to do theme weeks. It's one of my absolute favorites. If you haven't noticed and it seems that you like it as well and that makes me so happy and I think like having theme weeks this year has really helped me a lot in my no buy I have really like getting the use out of my collection I have used palettes that I haven't used for a really long time and it and it has been really fun to see what it is that I do really like. Because I think that we all like change over time. And uh, that is okay. And I think I have that like as a favorite to do theme weeks and I hope that that will be something that I will continue with in next year I just don't know how often <laughs> and that has been a little struggle for me I think I might go to do them like once a month um, that I'm doing theme weeks I haven't decided on that yet but I think that might be like a good thing so that I'm really taking with me from this year into next year and that feels so so good there is still things that I wish that I would have done more this year that I haven't done because I thought it felt like strange to do them. I did really wish that I had done more favorite videos but it felt so strange like yeah I'm having a no buy can I do favorite videos and of course you can. I find different things in my collection all the time that I do like and I think it's just uh, fun to do that to like really shop my stash thing and uh, I'm so sad that I haven't but it hasn't felt like a thing that I was allowed to or what I don't know how to put it, but it felt like, no, you have had a no buy, so you can't have like favorites because favorites needs to be new things. But I, it feels like the last couple of months that I have really like find my spot more like with theme weeks and with my no buy. I feel so much more happy and like motivated by my no by now than I did in the beginning of this year maybe that isn't so strange because now I have almost done it for a whole year which feels so so strange to say like I haven't bought any new eyeshadows brush brushes blushes hi did I put eyeshadow here this year and that feels really really great what do you think about this i do love it and the thing that was like inspired by betty bean was to 
not cut my halo that precise and I think I do really like it. I did use this fluffier brush. I see that she's often cutting her halos or crease with like a fluffier brush. And I do understand why, because it gets a little bit more messy and not that precise. And regarding my no buy, I have said the whole time that I'm not going to continue next year with my no buy. And I am not... I, I don't at least think... It has been fun. I am going to do a no buy get rid with me soon. I just have to think about that a little bit more or just do do share a video about it but I think I want to do I, I don't want to go back to like shop super much makeup maybe I do shop in January and then maybe I continue with a low buy I don't know actually so I can't like tell you how the future is going to be with my no buy because I still don't know. There is some things that I really want to buy next year when this is over and that I know that I'm going to buy and these has been things that I think about like a longer period of time. I don't know if I want to do the thingy I always do but I think I will skip it. I'm not going to take something in the middle of my halo. I do love this. I think I've done something similar. But you know what? I like did realize today that you can do a look twice. What's the harm in that? Nothing. So I'm going to fix my base. Take away the fallouts that are really, really heavy. My under eyes. Choose a red lip for this. And then I come back. And I thought that this video was going to be so much longer. I guess it's not going to be that long, but may maybe that is good. The only thing that is left is the lips. And I think I want to go with this one. This is Dahlia from Kaleidos. These, these, <laughs> this is one of their lip clays. I don't like these. I don't like this formula that much, but uh, I do like the color. So I'm going to try. The thing that I don't like, I think they are comfortable and all, but it is really... Some of the colors, and especially darker darker colors, are really hard to get opaque. And I think that is really important when you're doing a really dark lip, that it is opaque. But I just have some tr problems with this. I just don't know. I, I do like the color, but the formula is a little bit not the best for me. And I think it's looking like it is a little bit hard to work with, I think. For my face, I did use this contour stick from Isadora. One of my OG <laughs> blushes, Down Boy from The Balm, that looks... Like this, and then my ozone highlighter from Nabla. And I haven't had anything in my waterline. Maybe that could be something. Maybe I should take this one. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. This is Screaming from LA Girl. So, um, this is the finished look. And I, I think to <laughs> combine... Handbook and Dairy is my favorite when it comes to this palette. I just think it's such a cool uh, I'm just gonna take away some fallouts. I just think it's such a cool combination because this is really dark and this is really intense and bright and fun. So yeah, I do love this look. This is one of my favorite palettes. I <laughs> I just love the formula for Shroud, especially like the shimmers and I think that this is a really, really good color story. I think it's a really fun color story. So I guess that that was all for today's video, actually. I hope that you liked it. And I am going to continue my theme weeks next year. Uh, don't 
to f- think that I will continue my no buy because I don't think I don't think that I want to actually there is some things that I want to buy but maybe I just like do one one little shopping spree and then maybe nothing more I think though that I should go on a no buy when it comes to different things in my life like shoes maybe but yeah I do hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do I'm trying to post a lot now in December I think it's kind of fun I'm just a little bit I'm catching up <laughs> so yeah uh, if you're not subscribing please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope that I will see you in the next one bye